Good afternoon everyone. Today we have a 2010 Hyundai Elantra. Currently the owner of the Hyundai Elantra is stating that the radio does not turn on. Let's take a look. All right, as you can see, I pressed the power button and it is not coming on at all. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna hold it down to see. Once again, it is not working. So let's see, maybe you may need to be started. Let's take a look. Once again, the radio is not working in any way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the fuses and let's go. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is go to the side fuse panel, which is right on the driver's side. Let's go ahead and pull this down just like that. Right in there, you'll see that there is a yellow fuse holder which controls two fuses. So once we take the cover down, we'll see that the two fuses is controlled by one, 15A audio and 115A room lamp. So that's the one we're looking for. 15A audio. Let's go ahead and stick our hand in there, pinch the sides, pull out, and there we go. It comes out very easily. All right. All right, guys, looking at the fuse guide, we see that 15A is audio. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at the one at the bottom. This is the one we're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and place this down for a second just like that. So we're gonna go ahead and use a flathead screwdriver and push this 15, the one that's on the bottom, this is for 15A audio. Push it down, there we go. It comes out really easily. So let's look at the sun and let's take a look. And as you can see, it is split. So that means that this fuse is bad. So we need to replace this 15 fuse with another one. Let's do it. So in the meantime, to save you guys some money, I do not want you to have to go to the auto parts store to purchase any more fuses. So what we're going to do, we're going to look for any spare fuses. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and pop the hood. So in order to search for spare fuses, what we're going to do is go to the fuse box. Press in, pull out. We're going to lay it aside. So looking at the fuse map, we're showing that there are two spare fuses, one in 21 and one in 22. So by looking at the diagram here, 21 is right here, but as you can see, 21 is covered. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these screws off and then we're gonna pull this up in order to remove the 21 spare fuse, which as you can see here is 15A. Let's go ahead and do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get a eight millimeter socket, place it on here to remove these two screws. I would definitely recommend a socket instead of a screwdriver because these bolts are on very tightly and we do not want to strip these bolts. Eight millimeter is the way to go. Let's do it. All right, once these two screws are released, let's go ahead and wiggle this side to side to remove this fuse cover. Just like that. Place this aside. Let's go ahead and get our fuse puller. And let's look for the 15A that we're looking for. Let's go ahead and count. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, and then 21. So we're going to do 10, 9, 8, 7, then 21. Now this is our spare 15A. This is the one that we're going to use. Let's make sure everything's okay with it and that it's not cracked. And everything looks absolutely fine. Let's go ahead and put our fuse panel back on and get ready to go. Now that that's tightened down, let's go ahead and put our cover back on. All right, here goes our replacement fuse. Let's go ahead and place it in the front. All right, so to replace the fuse, you're going to come in from the bottom side and then come up and hear it click. You'll hear it just like that. Just place it right back to where it should go, pinch the sides, and push in. There's no particular snaps, just know that it's in because you'll see this door lamp. Once you see that the door is open, that means that fuse controls it, so that means it's in perfectly fine. Replace your fuse cover. All right, guys, here's the moment of truth. Place your key in the ignition, accessories, press the power button, and it's on! Congratulations, we did it, guys. We got the radio back and we did not have to spend a cent. All right, guys, that's all I have to show you for this 2010 Elantra. So just to let you know, if you have any problems, all you have to do is go to the side panel, replace the 15A fuse with the spare fuse and without having to spend any more money. Thank you for joining me, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to Jesus and not to me because I'm just a vessel to remind you of this. Have a blessed day.
Yeah. Yes, it is. Nice ride. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm happy to be your second. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> no worries. How long you had this thing? About seven months. Seven months. That's nice. Yes. Nice. How do you like it? It's nice. Regular it's driver or just a weekend happy? Place? Every single day. Nice. Yes. I like when people actually use their cars. Why not? We only live once, so what's the point of storing it? Yeah. So uh, it goes to dust? Yeah, they uh, convertible Camaro at one point. Right. And basically, the rule was if the sun is shining, I'm riding it. I would do the same. So, yeah, that's, that's sweet. Thank you, sir. Do you do any work on it or basically... Those oh. curtains, those curtains that you see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I put those in there. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to put 20 inch trims on it too. But they're going to be classy. They're going to be similar to what you see there, just yeah. bigger. Nice. Yes, sir. Nice, that is super cool. Thank you. Oh, it's even right here drive. I didn't notice that earlier. Oh. It's Japanese. Yeah, I just... <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm dealing with the Korean car. <laughs> the Korean car? Huh? This one. Oh. You caught me in, in mid mid uh, video. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> Super nice. Oh, enjoy. That's a, that's a nice ride. Appreciate you, sir. Yep. All right. What do call this? Oh. Side panel. Oh, man. How did this happen? This is supposed to be like inside, but how did it get outside of this? Like a panel. Oh, because right here. How? How is that possible? It's not like I took this off. You did it. But I shouldn't have to take it off. Maybe it just came out. Oh, but like, how is this inside? I'm gonna get a flathead screwdriver and push this down. Now that that's tightened down, let's go ahead and put our cover back on. Until you hear the click, just like that. Ah! All right, let's go ahead and replace our cover. You hear the click? Now it's on. <laughs> 